Hello, I want to welcome you to a very exciting 44-day journey that begins right here, right now with you. This 44-day journey is a consecration to Jesus through St. Joseph, an integrated look at the Holy Family. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Dr. Bataro and Jennifer Settle, who has put together such an outstanding resource of growing in the knowledge of St. Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, and this devotion that will really enrich your spiritual life. I want to personally thank you as the pastor of St. John Paul II for joining us on this prayerful endeavor because we are praying in preparation to open up our capital campaign to build a sanctuary of new evangelization and a beautiful church to honor Christ in the liturgy that we have in church to receive the Eucharist and to grow in our faith day by day. So please do pray with us that what we will truly impact on our journey ahead will be the proclamation of the good news to all nations. I welcome each of you and before we get started, again, just look below for a moment, click the subscribe button, click a little thumbs up right next to it so that you won't miss each of our daily devotions. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. This prayer comes from Pope Francis in his apostolic letter, Patris Corde, with a father's heart. So we turn to the earthly father of Jesus to discern his heart. The selection, week one, day one. Knowledge of self, our identity as a child of the father. And so we begin. The ultimate fulfillment of our life is in union with God. We are made in God's image where we come from, and we are made for union with him, our fulfillment. As St. Augustine says, quote, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. What is it then for our hearts to rest in God? It is our ultimate fulfillment. It is what we are made for, and we are ultimately unsatisfied and unhappy without it. All human suffering and discontent can be summed up as an experience of not being in union with God. The cure for all human suffering and discontent is union with God. Therefore, it stands to reason that union with God should be the only principal goal we pursue. We know that because of original sin, we lost the inheritance of union with God. But then Christ's resurrection restored us to that inheritance. Jesus is the way. Through him, with him, and in him, we can attain our ultimate fulfillment of union with God. Our adopted sonship of the Father occurs through our union with Christ. This is everything. We enter into union with Christ through our baptism. This sacrament initiates us into the greatest mystery of our human experience. In baptism, we are united to Christ and receive all that is His. The end of this gift is union with the Father as Christ is one with the Father. This is a process though, and we don't get there all at once. The journey towards union with God is the story of our own human development. God initiates and invites us into the journey and then accompanies us along the way and provides everything that we need to keep going. Through Christ, he unites to our humanity and our humanity can return to him through Christ. This means we enter fully into God through the door of the humanity of Christ. We draw our attention 
to the humanity of Christ, to understand ourselves. We cannot hope to develop our humanity in some way differently than Christ developed his. And so we humble ourselves to accept the shocking mystery of God's humility in his incarnation. God was a helpless baby and developed into perfection of his humanity by means of a mother and father in the poor and humble circumstances of Nazareth. Some reflection questions. Who do you really see yourself as? If you were the child of a rich president or a celebrity superstar, you would probably carry yourself with an attitude of being untouchable, like nothing could bother you. You'd live without a worry because you would know that everything will be taken care of for you. Who is your actual father? What kind of disposition should you walk around with? How does this compare to the disposition that you typically carry yourself with in your day-to-day -day emotional life? I encourage you to journal these reflection questions and reflect upon them prayerfully. And I assure you, as time goes on through this 44-day consecration, you will see great growth both in your interior knowledge of self and in your knowledge of God. I encourage you to look in the description below. There you will find Dr. Batero's website, and you'll be able to secure your own copy of Consecration to Jesus through St. Joseph. If you are joining us digitally each and every day for the next 44 days, you may want to pick up a journal. In this book, this resource, there are journaling pages, but you may want to journal more. When I experienced this devotion a few years ago, when we were doing it as a community here at St. John Paul II in the Diocese of St. Augustine, it was an awesome exercise of interior work and realizing how much of my personal life was drawn up into the mystery of who St. Joseph is and his unique relationship with Jesus radically transformed my understanding of who Jesus is and who the Holy Family is. I pray that this same reality becomes true for you. So thank you for choosing to journey with us on this 44-day consecration that will culminate on the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker on May 1st. What an awesome devotion. 44 days from the Solemnity of St. Joseph today, March 19th, to May 1st. I will see you each and every day in the spirit of our prayer. God bless you. First Prayer to St. Joseph. Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. Saint Joseph, assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. Press him close in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me, amen. Ave Marie Stella. Hail, star of ocean, portal of the sky, ever virgin mother of the Lord most high. Oh, by Gabriel's Ave uttered long ago, Eve's name reversing, establish peace below. Break the captive's fetters, light, on blindness poor, 
all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show yourself a mother, offer him our sighs, who for us incarnate did not you despise. Virgin of all virgins, to your shelter take us, gentlest of the gentle, chaste and gentle make us. Still as on we journey, help our weak endeavor, till with you and Jesus we rejoice forever. Through the highest heaven, to the almighty three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen.